Attorney General Jeff Sessions is set to appear before the Senate Judiciary Committee on Wednesday morning, where he will likely face questions on contentious issues such as immigration, civil rights and his recusal from the investigation into Russia's meddling in the 2016 election. Democrats said they plan to push Mr. Sessions to describe his conversations with President Donald Trump, which he declined to discuss at his last appearance before a Senate panel in June. In that hearing, before the Senate Intelligence Committee, he denied allegations that he had improper contacts with Russian officials during the presidential campaign. In a letter last week, Democratic Sens. Sheldon Whitehouse of Rhode Island and Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut and others told Mr. Sessions to be prepared to answer completely all questions in areas where Mr. Trump HASNT invoked executive privilege. A Justice Department spokeswoman declined to comment on what topics, if any, Mr. Sessions would put off limits in his testimony. Since his confirmation to his post in February, Mr. Sessions has moved to remake the Justice Department's approach on a wide range of issues, from its relationship with local police departments to its interpretation of federal anti-discrimination law. He has largely hewed to the agenda that he pursued in his years as a senator from Alabama, including advocating stricter immigration enforcement. At the time, he served on the same committee that is set to question him. Mr. Sessions has played a central role in developing the Trump administration's immigration policies, even serving as the face of Mr. Trump's decision last month to rescind the Obama administration's program to shield from deportation undocumented immigrants who entered the U.S. as children. Last week, he threatened to revoke grant funding to cities including Chicago and New York over their alleged lack of cooperation with federal immigration authorities, and he outlined a plan to tighten up the asylum process, saying that dirty immigration lawyers were helping people game the system. Mr. Sessions has also played a central role in undoing a series of other Obama-era policies, describing the last administration's efforts as outside the bounds of the law. He reversed an interpretation that a workplace discrimination law covers transgender individuals, and issued legal guidance that led to the cancellation of some federal payments to help subsidize health insurance under the Affordable Care Act. Mr. Sessions has implemented a series of changes that he says will help cut down on violent crime, including deploying 40 new prosecutors to reinvigorate a program to improve cooperation with local law enforcement and cut down on gun crime. He has also pledged to vigorously prosecute hate crimes in the wake of violence at a white nationalist rally in Charlottesville, VA. Heeding requests from local law enforcement agencies, the Justice Department under Mr. Sessions has also undone an Obama-era policy that put limits on what military equipment local agencies could get through an equipment recycling program. He has also given state and local law enforcement the ability to seize via federal law assets allegedly linked to illicit activity and to retain some of the proceeds, even if they aren't allowed to do so under state law. Another subject that is likely to be addressed is Mr. Sessions' recusal from the Justice Department's probe into Russian meddling in the 2016 election. The issue of Russian contacts dogged Mr. Sessions early in his tenure. In March, he recused himself from the Justice Department's investigation and cancelled his first appearance before the Senate Judiciary Panel to brief the Senate Intelligence Committee, which is examining the alleged interference. Mr. Trump later publicly mused he might fire Mr. Sessions, saying he was unhappy with Mr. Sessions' recusal. According to a January report from the U.S. intelligence community, Russia's interference was directed at the highest levels of its government. Its tactics include hacking state election systems, infiltrating and leaking information from party committees and political strategists, and disseminating through social media and other outlets negative stories about Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton and positive ones about Mr. Trump, the report said. In his June testimony, Mr. Sessions described any suggestion that he colluded with Russians to help the Trump campaign an appalling and detestable lie. Mr. Sessions has acknowledged meeting then-Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak, but he said neither of the two encounters had anything to do with the campaign. President Trump has denied his campaign colluded with Russia, and Moscow has denied any meddling in the election. Write to Aruna Viswanatha at Aruna. Viswanatha at WSJ.com.